Hello. Do you want to hop on? Yeah, just grab a chair from somewhere. There's a couple over there. All right, we have Swagman coming on the microphone as well. Ready? And looks like we're getting into it straight Hello? away. I hope yes. no one could see that last uh, set. Sorry, we did have like 10 or so people watching. Oh, damn it. Sorry, sorry to say. But we have a whole new game on our hands. Now. I was, I was, uh, I, I did not beat the bad vs. Peach allegations. <laughs> I did not. They're hard allegations to beat. I Look. took uh, McLeod to last stop. On Yoshi's. Oh, wait, you already played your match? Yeah, yeah, oh, it was quick. Wow. <laughs> it was quick. Okay, uh, how do you find playing McCloud? I actually f think I am better against McCloud than Catherine. That's so interesting, actually. I, um. McCloud just doesn't. He gets hit by a lot of things that I can't get on Catherine. I tried so many things that set that I thought, well, if this gets me a stock on McCloud, then Catherine's gonna fucking, you know, get owned by it. And yeah, then, yeah, uh, yeah, no, no. It. She's, what, she's so ready for it. I would say, uh,. McCloud's a lot better at edge guarding. Yeah. Getting getting off stage against McCloud, you, you you've lost your stock. Mm. Uh, not that Catherine's bad at that, just McCloud has so much custom stuff. I've oh, never he's really confident on his edge guards as well. Yeah, he will go out there. He like, will come get you. And uh, he hit me with the craziest like turn up, and then he he, he uh, finished his float and forward ed me. And I was like, he's dead for that. And then he just come back to stage anyways. Like <laughs> he used every resource to hit me. As far as I am, I'm, I'm basically in the blast, so he'll come out, get me, and then get back to stage. I've never seen anything like oh it. Oh my god. Wait, yeah, he's kind of cra cracked. Catherine's yellow peach. Right, I'm just going to quickly check the audio, one second. Yep. Oh, I have to move my car as well. Hold on. Kai will be moving his car. Um, they, These two players play a lot. In fact... I was sitting there warming up by playing a vent match, and these guys were playing each other. Uh, Swagman, God, I haven't seen the Peach do them forever. If you like them, come here. If you don't like them, do not come here. Also, hi, Yule Alice, if you're still in the chat. Good friend of mine. Uh, you inspired me to stay Falcon in some of the hardest moments of my life as a Falcon player. Yeah, you uh, 3 0 Lax once, and I was like, this character has what it takes. Even, even, even if he beats you, like 6 0 in the reset. Oh, the, the small chance that was it? 1 in 600,000 to get the fucking the blade. So, even by SA standards, this is a small one. There's only four of us. So I have to get, I, I get to go home after getting uh, my ass kicked three times, as opposed to like five or six. I don't know anything about what either of them are going for. I think I need to pick up Peach. I think I need to play Peach for a week. And then I'll understand what's going on here. From what I can tell, the box is the better controller for this character. Just based off how quick and how confident some of the shit that McLeod does is. Bro, Catherine is no slash. I feel really good about going, like, getting Catherine down to two stocks. Even if it's not, like, last, last stock McLeod, it's like... I feel like I'm getting fucking... How much glint can you get on this character? Like, negative? Did McLeod pedge dash and I missed it? I feel like I'm staring directly at nothing when I look at these characters play. I have no clue what's going on. I wish Kai was here to enlighten, enlighten me. He's moving his car. I wish Caleb Gaming, Caleb Video Games was in chat as well, because he, he, he knows a lot about these players, he plays them a lot. Oh my god. They did the Peach Ledge Dash with half ECB and an unopened umbrella. Yeah, I thought it was called the Pedge Dash. Zaki 2013, you know what that says? I don't have my glasses on, I'm assuming you were born in the year 2013. In which case, happy 10th birthday sooner or later. 
or earlier this year, I guess. Damn, ten years old? No, it's literally two six one three. Oh, I can't. Oh, it is. My bad. My bad. I I genuinely am far enough away from the monitor without my glasses. <laughs> The green, the green that your name is on my screen doesn't help you though. On, on this, I don't know if it's like custom for each Twitch chat, but for me, your name is like this ugly green that kind of blends. Catherine is making this like actually look very even. I think Catherine's got what it takes. How do I, how do I give McLeod the the one? Uh, I'm not gonna mess with this. I'm just gonna trust that Kai can do it. It's a code, I'm not 10. But you know what? You wouldn't be the first 10 year old uh, to play this game. There are a lot of young players. I don't know how to update. I think McLeod got game one. In fact, I'm certain, cool. but I just don't know how to do it. Cool. So you, just you put in any new details and then you save it, but you can also yeah. use Control, Control S. Control S? That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. So it's 2 0 up now. Oh, yeah. That was actually. Wait, I blinked and McLeod got two stocks. Yeah. They were, they were two stocks even. It's a bit like that when you play McLeod. You yeah. feel like you're doing fine, and then like suddenly the game's over, and you're just like, but, but, but. No, that is the first thing. But, I, but like, I thought I was winning. I played him for the first time June last year when I was briefly in uh, Adelaide, and yeah. I remember thinking afterwards. One of the first things I said about it was, I said playing McLeod is like you think you don't think you're losing. You actually yeah, don't totally. feel like you're losing against totally. him until you are. It's I think so it's because he plays such a good game. Yes. Yep. You can feel like you're playing great and still lose. When I'm playing against him, it's like you have to operate on like the sixth level SDI Yomi. <laughs> it's really crazy. It's actually really, really crazy to fight. I'm interested that Catherine takes. Uh, you know what's crazy? I think Catherine might like this stage because I get way more mileage out of taking every other Peach player here than taking Catherine here. Whenever I take Catherine, I almost took Catherine to Pokemon Stadium because, like, I just feel like I'm getting rinsed on this stage versus Catherine. I think Catherine's very good at Yoshi's, and or I'm just like reading into it, and this is just how she prefers to fight McLeod. Potential favorite stage there. Oh well, yeah, this is like the Catherine home turf, I feel. Yeah, At this yeah. stage, like, she's just always going here. I think that's, that's maybe... too bad right now. I feel like she's more comfortable here. So do you know what Peach is going for at all? Oh, uh, thank you. Sharing some games with the commentary. We're very hedonistic here. <laughs> thank you. You can't see it, but we're actually in uh, a gold-plated yeah. princess chair. Yeah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> if only we had a, the camera facing the other way. We do have one. Oh, I'm just, I'm just uh, in game at the moment. We're fine. Can you believe Zach 2013 just playing this game and he was born 10 years ago? No way. Yeah. We have a 10-year-old playing melee. Yeah, big that's melee. insanely sick. I like that a lot. So I feel like up next we should get um, me and you to play on stream. Oh, you think so? I feel like. And then, and then we can do me and Kath and then I can do McLeod afterwards. Uh, but I don't know. We've played before, but not on stream. I haven't played today. Really? I not at all. all today, no. That was me before I got into a event match when I came in. I, uh, <laughs> I squeezed out three CSGO games and then I got dressed and ran onto the train. Bruh, if you're doing a Peach Ditto, do you ever pick Dreamland? Does this guy's name yeah, change colours? Yeah, they do change colours in the chat as well. Um, I, we I would say you probably don't want to pick Dreamland if you are like playing Ditto. Just because it's like, uh, what's soul, the soul sucking? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're, the you're, you're even, but now <laughs> both of you live longer. Maybe if one of you can DI, if you know you can DI way better than the other guy, like you <laughs> Well, in that case, it is actually more advantageous for... Oh, the, 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 this is the second beam sword that yes. I've seen, just this set. So it's not Merma, but it's good. It's actually... In that case, it's, it would be more advantageous for Catherine to take McLeod to Dreamland because he has limited DI. 
True, with the box. Yeah, yeah. So you would be able to live longer if you're Catherine. Wait, before, before, before I forget, and before this set's over, during my set with the cloud, mm -hmm. I noticed whenever I get up a cat, he knew it was coming, and I think it was because, well, not only because it's obvious, but also the do. loud keys press when I <laughs> smack my... So then I got knocked down, and then I... I just pressed a random key because I have all my keys. I smacked a random key really loudly, and he went to punish my uh, get up attack, and I rolled. It was so it was so good. Right. I should just start throwing fake presses in we'll, all the time. We'll hop on next, I think. Okay. Yeah. Get ready for a nail biter. Me and guys. Swagman will play And next. by a nail biter, I mean like me biting the nail, like coffin nails.